Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Pyro Uvers here. I'm at Great Lakes Mortar Racks here in South Lane, Michigan. Here staying with the owner, that's Chris. He's going to be showing us um, basically how he builds his racks and basically his inventory and just going to, you know, talk to you guys. So, Chris, I'm going to let you go ahead and take it away. Absolutely. Hello, everyone. Thank you, uh, Chad, for coming out and doing this. Uh, my name is Chris Elliott. I'm the owner and uh, uh, builder of Great Lakes Mortar Racks. Um, my wife uh, does help me out. I call her my uh, quality control manager, let's just say that. Um, but I touch uh, every single rack um, that you see in stores or that you order online. Um, and uh, again, once again, I appreciate Chad coming out and doing this. And I'll give you a little tour and uh, show you some inventory. And um, obviously there's a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of stuff going on here, especially this time of year. So um, let's get started. So um, I wheel everything out. Thankfully, everything's on wheels so I can uh, have some room in my shop because, it, of course, it's never big enough. So um, this is a lot of my pre-cut stuff that I have, um, and I'll break it down. So what I do is I consider this to be a carriage. So this will hold 12 tubes across two rows, side by side. So I simply create that. I'll squeeze that together and uh, put a handle and what I call a foot on it. And it'll come out looking, obviously that is not a 48 shot, but that is a 12 shot rack. So handle, foot, and then like I said, I consider this to be a carriage on the inside. So this is a fully built carriage. And what you're gonna see is I have some carriages already built and then I have a lot of pre-cut stuff. Um, everything on this bottom shelf here is for six tubes across, which as you can see, goes right there. Um, and that becomes what I call a brace that holds the sides and the base together. Um, up here, we have 12 tubes across, which is what I showed you just a minute ago with a carriage for a, um, what will be a, a 48 shot rack. Um, just depends on what model I'm making at the time. Um, my biggest sellers are the 24s and the 50s right now. You guys seem to love uh, 24 and 50 shot racks, which of course, who doesn't love more shells going up in the air, so works great. Um, the next uh, rack I have over here, watch step here, is these are all, I just got an order, uh, another order yesterday uh, from Pro Fireworks. Uh, rebuilding their inventory. So I have 30 racks to uh, build for them. Um, so all these are carriages again, and these are going to become um, 50 shot racks. Um, so again, there's 10 and 10 in here. Um, I still have to build the inner side, which is the two by three and shove it together, put a handle and foot on it, and that becomes a 50 shot rack. We'll show you some of those in inventory here in a little bit. Um, over here, again, there's more carriages built. These are the 24, what will become either, that's either a 12 shot rack, two rows of six. Um, so I put a handle and a foot on it, it's a 12 shot rack. I push it together, it can become a 24, or obviously three of them together become a 36 shot rack, straight, fan, whatever. There's different uh, techniques I have to make the fan. It's a, a set jig that I use for that. And then here we have a bunch of carriages that obviously hold six shells and again um, you know I, I put two feet on this it's a six shot rack I can squeeze it together like the one I showed you previously is a 12 or whatever combination um, if you want we'll move into the barn and show you All some right, more so things. into the barn lot to see in here um, first though um, I think uh, it, for those of you that saw my Facebook page last weekend um, Cracklin Kurtz Fireworks in Nebraska signed on with me and uh, do, they're doing 60 racks. I'll show you those in a few minutes. They're back in uh, one of my trailers right now. The other one I got um, is Pyro Patriot Fireworks in Alabama and this is going to be an exclusive rack to them and only to them which is uh, my design of a, a new 24 for them. So what you can see here is the three carriages together fanned um, handle and, and a foot on it and it becomes there's eight rows there or eight tubes across 
So that becomes a 24 shot. And again, that is going to be exclusive to Pyro Patriot Fireworks in Alabama. And uh, he's very excited. And I think uh, good things to come with them, as well as Cracklin Kirk's Fireworks. And of course, again, I can't forget about uh, Pro Fireworks. Been very good to me. Signed on with them last year late. And we did a ton of racks with them last year. And now this 30 that he ordered yesterday is going to surpass what we already did last year. So um, Red Apple um, carries the racks as well. Um, only in Monroe. I don't, they don't have any in the Flint store yet. Uh, Sandusky Fireworks Superstore down in Ohio. And in Indiana, we have uh, Great Grizzly Fireworks. And I'm not sure how many stores they have. I know it's a lot. I think it's around seven or nine. Uh, Pyromaniac Fireworks down in Indiana, Indiana as well. And PDC Fireworks in Indiana. So once these racks get delivered to uh, Nebraska, and then the ones I'm going to show you in a little bit here that are going to crack on the Kurtz will be in stores in five different states. Um, and hopefully more to come. Thankful uh, with uh, Chad here promoting helping to promote me. Um, there's a store in Miami that is um, looking to sign on, so that would be great. That'd be awesome, and I really appreciate Chad helping out with all this and, and helping to promote uh, you know, the company and, and the racks. And again, again, I got started on all this because I was in my local store here, which Chad's gonna go here in a little bit to go there because he hasn't been there yet, Michigan Fireworks Company, who also carries my racks, my buddy Eric. And I showed him a picture of my rack uh, that I'd made one day, a couple years ago, and he asked if we, I could make them for a store. And I'm like, absolutely. And um, that's where it all started, and, and that's where we are now. And now we're going to be in five states, and uh, hopefully more soon, um, especially after going to uh, um, the NFA show or convention in September, if they have it. Um, hopefully it'll get much bigger at that point. Uh, anyway, back to the uh, back to the rack on the bottom. I showed you some braces earlier. Um, these are the braces that will go across um, that uh, carriage I showed you a few minutes ago that would hold uh, ten tubes across. So that is the what I call the the bottom brace and the top brace, which are these. But again, that they, these are custom again to uh, um, Pyro Patriot Fireworks, but. So this would go across the tens. The next rack I have here is the bases for two tubes across um, that are cut down. These are two by sixes that are cut down to, to the width that I need for two tubes. So this is for 12. These are for 10, which you can see I'm super low on. I gotta cut some more. And then of course we have sixes down here. Behind this rack, uh, screws. I do not use any nails. I do not use any glue. Everything is screwed. Um, they're all wood screws. Uh, as you can see, they range in size from one and seven eighths, two and three eighths, and uh, two and a quarter. And then anything else, the feet again and the handle that I call them are two and a half inch uh, deck screws that go into everything. Um, my shipping center, which is uh, a, a mess of uh, tape and, um, of course, for the big racks that you guys love, the 50 shotters I'm shipping out all the time, UPS loves that I put that on there. Um, and I, my fasteners for my adjustable racks, things like that, but that's just one shelf of screws. I, I have more than that. Um, the next one. If I have time, I obviously have a ton of scrap. I have some great bonfires, but uh, so the handles and feet for some of the different racks are there. Um, if I, when I have time, those are usually full. Um, as you can see, some of them um, are completely empty. This, this time of year, we are busy. And yeah, that's what happens when we're busy. This last rack, is got some more of the uh, the custom 24s that we're doing for Pyro Patriot Fireworks, but it also has the so this is for obviously one tube, simply a two by three, so that is for ten tubes across. Same order as I had on those other racks. These are for twelve, nice and long, and then on the bottom 
is some sixes. Normally, uh, when it's not you know the season, I'll have two rolls full of just sixes, two rolls of just ten, and one roll of twelves on a normal day. Right to the right of Chad here is the beginnings of the carriages uh, that we showed you a little while back that are going to hold 12 tubes and in some sort of configuration it will be some sort of rack whether it's a 12, a 24, 36, however I build it or whatever custom I uh, end up making but uh, that is the beginnings of the order for Pro Fireworks that I mentioned a little while ago. Um, as you can see behind that I have uh, the usual stuff um, depending on what I'm working on clearly I have some money invested in some DeWalt tools um, I have uh, that disc, disc sander that uh, helps me shave some things down here and there if need be um, a little Ryobi drill press but uh, obviously my uh, my DeWalt's I go through them like crazy and I have tons of batteries and tons of chargers because Again, I'm, I'm, I'm screwing everything in. There's no nailing and, and no gluing. Um, my nice big rigid saw that I have on wheels, thankfully, and the large uh, dust collector back there. Um, as you can imagine, I go through a lot of, uh, a lot of sawdust and again, helps to create some great bonfires. Inventory of some wood up there as well. That's my old sign. I've changed the logo. Um, and there's some two by, I got two by fours. Again, I have a rack back here in the corner with uh, slots for the uh, two by sixes that are cut down, um, two by threes, one aisle of scrap. I have wood everywhere. I have two by threes up on a shelf. I have one by up on a shelf. I have one by standing up over here behind this other rack we were just at. Um, those were 14 foot long. They've been cut down just so I can stand them up there. Plus I have some up there on that shelf. Um, the other thing is there's one more rack underneath my TV over there, which of course I have to have in the shop for the amount of hours I spend out here. But So there's uh, some more of the uh, screws that I use. And again, I usually buy around uh, 10,000 at a time of each size that I buy. Um, that is uh, that is about it for the for the shop. My table saw, which is right behind Chad there, that is an old Delta that uh, I got and put a new motor in it. Um, that thing cuts like a dream. One more shelf behind Chad has <clears throat> what I call the sides. So you have your double and your single. These are the singles. So. They're 12 inch long, pretty simple. And then down here, which you can see, I'm running two of them are empty because I was building those ones that I showed you a little while ago, and there's a 12 inch, the uh, two across. Um, that's pretty much it for the shop. The important stuff, other than the fridge and the TV, the rest of it is uh, wood and screws and uh, some you know cool firework signs that I have from. Uh, and people that I do sell racks to, so we'll uh, we'll take a look back at the inventory here in just a second. We'll All right, so it. we're gonna start here with this trailer. I have two trailers. This is my uh, 24 foot enclosed that usually hauls around. Uh, well, not usually fireworks stuff. Usually my fun stuff, but um, and I think uh, a couple months ago, Chad did have a picture of this that it was full of 50 shot racks and full of 24 shot racks. So right now. Um, you can see it's full of empty uh, totes, which had uh, tons and uh, they all had about 60 pipe per tote. Um, there's still my 24 shot fans. Um, there's a couple of 50 shot fans back there on the left under past that last row of totes. Um, and of course, I have tons of empty boxes in here for shipping the racks online. And there's a handful of, uh, looks like there's four of my 50 shot straight ups left here. Um, and again, um, I, a lot of times use the empty boxes from uh, cases from fireworks to ship racks because it works out great. They're nice heavy duty boxes and a lot of times that's what I end up using. So that's this trailer. We're going to walk over and look at a couple of sheds that I have and then look at the last trailer that I have. All right, so first shed. These are actually the racks that you see on the website. Um, 
And then uh, I do have uh, back there in that container, I have some uh, 15 inch tubes that uh, I have in inventory. And one rack that I painted black, and I think that's like a 40 shot um, that I've had for a while. I probably need to sell that at a discounted rate at this point just to get rid of it because I'm tired of looking at it. Because I can't put my brand on it, so it's kind of uh, something I was experimenting with. But those are all from the website. This next shed, um, which was really full of 24 shot racks, um, still a bunch of 24s, um, some 48s here in the corner, and then the one, uh, this is the same design as that one, um, that 24 with the eight, eight in a row, uh, but it's got my brand on it. So that is a, a one off at this point. Um, looks like I got a couple of 12 shots there sitting and uh, some personal pipe three inch there of my own, but that's all, um, all those boxes are pipe I had from uh, last year. So it is um, obviously black pipe. That is uh, obviously for sale this year as well. So we're gonna go look at another trailer I have, which is the order for Cracklin Kirk's Fireworks and there's 60 racks in there. So right, let's go look so at that. This is the order for Cracklin Kirk's Fireworks in Nebraska. There's 60 racks in here. There's a combination of my 50 shot fan. Um, there's a 24 shot fan in here, 24 straight, a 50 shot straight, and some six shot straight. So these are all gonna get put on uh, pallets and shipped out to my buddy Kirk at Cracklin Kirk's Fireworks. So that is uh, a lot of racks going to him, which is great. Hopefully it'll be a long lasting relationship with him. He's uh, very excited to get them and I'm very excited to ship them out to him. All right, so thanks again, Chad, for coming out and uh, shooting this video for me and showing my shop and, and what I do. Um, also again, big shout out to uh, Pro Fireworks, Michigan Fireworks Company, Sandusky Fireworks, Pyromaniac Fireworks, RDC Fireworks, or I'm sorry, PDC Fireworks, um, Cracklin Kirk's Fireworks, and Power Patriot Fireworks for carrying my racks in your stores. Um, and don't forget to go to my website. My shirts are now out there. I have uh, these shirts, the back, this is one of the older ones, so the design's a little bit different, but I do have shirts and hoodies now on the website, um, which I think Chad's gonna scroll across the bottom of the screen for you, but it's greatlakesmortarracks.us or glmr.us. And uh, we're your rack today, 4th of July is coming quick, so don't wait. And uh, thanks again, Chad. And uh, we'll uh, hopefully, someday I'll meet all of you guys soon.